A good Samaritan is hospitalized after being severely beaten and carjacked in Roseville. Thank you so much for joining us tonight for Action News at 6. I'm Carolyn Clifford. And I'm Dave Llewellyn. It all happened around 1.30 this morning in a Del Taco restaurant parking lot. The stolen van was used to deliver food to those in need. 7 Action News reporter Brett Cast picks up the story from here. Derek Hill says he was driving here down Gratiot Avenue near 13 Mile when he saw a car that he thought was broken down. So he pulled over to help and instead was dragged out of his van, which was stolen. It made me sick. That's the best way I can say it. It made me sick. Attorney James Galen woke up to a call from his friend and client Derek Hill last night, alerting him that his van had been stolen and his face severely beaten. I got a concussion. I got six stitches on my forehead. His legs, his legs are uh, 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 scraped up real bad from uh, being uh, knocked to the ground, kicked in the face. Hill says he was driving down Gratiot to pick up food when he saw a car broken down in the median. He stopped to see if they needed help and was attacked. As he spoke to uh, an individual uh, through the passenger window, someone creeped up to the driver's side, snatched the door open, blasted him in the face. Hill says the van is used to help others through Last Supper Mobile Ministry, something he started and runs himself. At the time of the carjacking, he says the car was filled with groceries and nearly $200 cash. He gives of himself to people that are less fortunate, and he does this without pay or with any expectation of reward. He does this because this is what he does. This picture shows Hill with his van, which has his ministry name and phone number on the side. He says having it returned is all he wants. It's a struggle. And to have them take this van has really pierced my heart, man. Now, if you've seen this van or know anything about this carjacking, you're asked to contact the Roseville Police Department. Reporting here in Roseville, I'm Brett Cast, 7 Action News. You gotta hope someone will bring it back. Thank you, Brett.